I was asked by uh, the New York Times a little while ago did uh, ask a number of poets to write a poem, uh, a kind of a tweet poem that would be 140 characters or less, right? Well, I, being crazy, uh, thought that the assignment was to write one of exactly 140 characters, which is not easy, you know, I mean, because you have to make it a sensible poem. Like a haiku on drugs. Yeah, and I, and I did that, and then they said um, it was too long because spaces count. So I went back and re you know, rejiggered the whole thing, and then as it turned out, you know, the tweet is just under 100, you know, 140 or less, but I wrote this darn poem that's exactly 140 characters, including spaces. Um, well, the experience was just, uh, I mean, it's very, it's identical to the experience of trying to write a sonnet or trying to write a poem with uh, four line stanzas. I mean, it is a formal consideration. So instead of just blah, 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 as you would in an email or endless Facebook post or whatever, or all sorts of other kinds of communication, including a traditional letter, um, you have to restrict yourself. So that kind of uh, binding is... Uh, very similar to creative activity. I think it was the Earl of Rochester who wrote a letter to his son, five or six pages long. And at the end, he says, "I'm sorry, I wrote such a long letter. I didn't have time. I didn't have the time to write a short one." <laughs>